Hi, I'm Craig Joubert. We at the NEC doing a workshop. We have a lovely person doing a wonderful thing for a friend, Zoe. This is Jackie, and she's doing a Zoe impersonate, well, a print onto some wood for her wedding coming up soon. Uh, so, what colours would you like, Jackie? Well, the, the colours of Zoe's theme are purples and teals. Um, so, yeah, I think we're that so would let's be go a good start. purple and teal. So we're going to pop in some of those colours. These are beautiful colours. Oh, that's fantastic. <coughs> and what was the other colour you said? Well, it's sort of fresh, so maybe a green. Yeah. It's green? Yeah. Okay, we'll add a bit of green there as well. And we're going to use a bit of white. Not much, but it'll just give you a little bit more contrast in your pattern. Uh, violet is a beautiful colour, so we're going to use a bit more of that. So we're going to do some lines, because Zoe... Her lettering is quite small, so we want a lot of detail on those letters. Okay. And what we're going to teach you is called a chevron pattern. We're going to start you off by going up and down, back up, back down, okay. and you're going to carry on. Okay. So you're going to go up and down, all the way to the other side of the tray. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. You can go a little quicker if you like. That's awesome. Okay. So it's the straight lines you're looking for, which is fantastic. You're doing a great job. Oh, this is exciting. Look at me crafting. <laughs> go. She won't believe this go when Jack. I've done this. <laughs> me crafting. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. That's very, very cool. Okay. Now all you're going to do is the opposite direction. So you're going to go straight up. Okay. And then get back down yourself. Alrighty. And come down. Perfect. Keep doing that. All the way to the bottom. A little bit more wider maybe. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, I see. Better. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that looks wonderful. I'm going to take the letter Z for Zoe. Yeah, just pop that down there. Oh, that looks really pretty. So, is that pretty. for Zoe coming in? I'm going to pop Zoe into the water at a slight angle and popping out. So, Zoe is going to have a marbled name letter, which is fantastic. So, that's the Z. This is the O. And we can do this for the whole lettering to match. Everyone is going to be very unique, but have similarities. In every single letter. Oops. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's amazing. You can do the P along that side there. So he's got a nice long stretch of color. And this is the A again. Very subtle. When it dries, it dries much brighter, so it can look fantastic when it's dry. So there's the T. We're almost done. A couple of letters to go, and there's plenty of space in this tray to do the whole name. Oh, look at that! That's ace. And lastly, a K. I was worried there wouldn't be enough, but there's plenty. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you, Jackie, for oh, such you. a lovely gesture. Oh, thanks so much. That's brilliant. Oh, well done. Well She's going to love that. That's a fantastic. Now, what you're going to do next is do a card. So do whatever you fancy. So do a anything, swirling. a spiral, whatever you fancy. This is going to be a card uh, for Jackie's uh, wedding. Just to say, awesome, all the best for your next uh, adventure in life. Try to do a few little hearts. That looks fantastic. <laughs> there we go, into some paper. This is now in the paper and finished. Wow. Amazing. So that's uh, how the pens work.
brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. You're welcome. She's gonna love it.